This is my bot. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing, configuration setup, and uh, maybe a quick little demo on this Oral-B Genius 7000 rechargeable toothbrush. Why have I chosen to do a review and unboxing on this? Simple, it's a smart product. I love smart products. So this thing has Bluetooth on it, it's got an app to go with it. It's got a whole bunch of cool functions which I'm gonna go through in a second. So this specific model, like I said, is the Genius 7000 and it's the black edition. So it's got a nice sleek black look to it. Uh, something different than your ordinary white toothbrush. So this model here, like all of them, uh, claims to do 5,000% more plaque removal versus a manual brush. This specific one here has seven refills with it. It has a daily clean mode, gum care mode, sensitive mode, as well as a teeth whitening mode, a deep clean mode, and a tongue cleaner mode. There are two other models above this one in this Genius model, so it's the 8000 and the X. But this one here caught my eye and it was on sale, so the price point was pretty good. I picked it up for 120 Canadian. It's normally about 170 Canadian when not on sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by just opening the box here, like that. So as you can see, the toothbrush displayed right in there. It's got a little timer, I guess, a two minute smiley timer. Tells you all about the Bluetooth and the app, which I will go through shortly. So I'm gonna start with opening the left side of the box here. Start with the accessory package. The first thing we have in the accessory package looks like a sleek little travel case. A nice soft touch feel. Feels really durable, it's got metal ends to it. Very, very luxurious, I guess you could say. Soft close, pretty nice. And then it comes with this, which I think is a little uh, pouch probably to store your heads in. Always the simple stuff that's the most complicated to figure out. I don't know what this is actually. It's just a little wallet. I guess uh, I'll find out soon what that is. Comes with uh, a couple of brush heads here. So this looks like the 3D head, I guess, and that might be the pulse head. It's supposed to have seven refills. I'm not seeing seven refills here. It's got the, except for this one. Got the uh, generic Oral-B. I have an Oral-B brush, but a really old one. I think it's a 500 series. I bought it like 10 years ago. Um, the charging base looks identical to this actually. And in here, I got a little uh, coupon book and the paper that tells you how to do things with the brush if you read it. That's it for the first side. Now on the second side, we'll start with the second accessory box here. So in this box, first thing I see is the little timer here. Comes with Duracell battery. Two Duracell, Duracell batteries, uh, a seal of some kind, probably just hold it down in place on your uh, table. And then it looks like a waterproof case of some kind. So there's the back cover. I'm gonna go ahead and put the batteries in. Snap that in place. second timer going off. Yeah. Okay, I see what this is. So it's a, you throw that on there, put the two-way sticker on and then probably put it on your mirror or something. So I'm not gonna brush so at the moment, so I don't know how to shut this off. I'm gonna assume it's app controlled. So next we have 
a cover. Not sure what this cover is for yet. Except for that, and then we got a tray, probably or something like that. Yeah, goes like this. So this is probably where you store your spare heads. So I have a 3D printer, so I've 3D printed a lot of stuff already from my brush. So those heads would go in there. The base looks like it slides in here. Yeah, looks like it goes there. So nice little base there. And then last, the brush itself. Here's the brush. Oh, it's already got power to it. So Bluetooth already says two battery bars. I'm gonna fully charge it before I use it because I feel like this might be one of those uh, batteries that have a like a nickel cadmium battery, not a lithium polymer or lithium ion. So I might have some smart, um, not smart, sorry, like memory to it. So I'm definitely charging this before I use it. Head slips off like any of the other brushes. Those are all the different settings here. Bluetooth, it's also got a ring LED light to tell you uh, how long you've been brushing for and the pressure, I assume. Did say something about pressure sensor. Nice little grip on the back, fairly lightweight. So I am going to start by charging this. Okay, so while it's charging, I am going to go ahead and grab the app on my phone so I have an Android device so I assume if you have an iOS you go to your Play Store or whatever it's called for iOS um, look for the Oral-B app once you have the Oral-B app installed and downloaded open it up and then the first thing it says connect your brush click start so oh, location services Okay, so now it says press the power button. Now, of course, I'm not gonna be able to do this while it's charging. So I will resume this once the uh, toothbrush has fully charged. All right, so I finally got the toothbrush all charged up. So I figured out what this thing here is. So this is actually a travel pouch. So it opens up from the uh, top right here and you can put your toothbrush in, take it with you to go. So uh, while this was charging, I looked into a few things. First thing I looked into was this coupon. Expired July 31st, 2021. Today is December 16th, 2021. What a joke. So next I'm gonna mention the battery takes 12 hours to fully charge. It does actually have a lithium ion battery in it, which is really nice. The brush also has an overcharge protection, so you can actually use the brush every single day and put it back on the charging station if you want a full charge. If you don't and you like to drain the battery like I do, then you get two weeks of use before you get to charge it again. Uh, so this thing here is called the Smart Guide. I think it actually pairs with the brush once you get into the app and it uh, tells you the quadrants and how much pressure you're putting on. But the app is basically your key to configuring this toothbrush and fully customizing it. So once you actually receive this, you need to uh, set it up. And that's why it was going blinking and doing all that weird stuff earlier because it was in uh, a demo mode. So I got to just get it out of this case, which will take me a second here really tight fit in the case so you pop open the back and then you have your hour minute button and your set button so you press and hold this for four seconds then you can start programming the time go through the manual to do the process there's actually a professional mode and then uh, a timer mode for this so I have mine set in professional mode as well as 24 hour clock mode because I like the 24 hour clock. So as far as uh, uh, the ring here, so this is the pressure ring. Uh, you can customize it in the app, but if you don't, when it does red, that means you're pressing, you're pressing too much while you're brushing. 
So all the different cleaning modes on the brush, as you can see here. So you have a daily clean mode. Uh, that's the deep clean mode with the plus. Then you have the sensitive mode, which is the feather. The whitening mode is the diamond. And the little wind mode there is gum. The tongue is obviously tongue cleaning. And then you got the Bluetooth and then the battery indicator there. And I believe that's pretty much it for the brush before I get into the app. So next is these different heads. So this head here is actually the sensitive head. So that's what it looks like, very fine. This one here is the 3D brush head. So it's got like a little uh, plastic thing in the middle, I guess, to get a nice deep 3D clean in. Uh, the head it comes with is just the generic cross action head. So once again, you can store all your brush heads there. I actually have, I think, 12 heads from my other brush still, and they're just the generic heads. The, uh, what do they call them? The, uh, I think it's the cross action head, actually, the ones I have upstairs. So that's it for the brush and a quick overview of it. Let me get this garbage out of the way here. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and open the app up. So I'm opening up the Oral-B app. Take the brush off and I'm gonna click Start. It wants me to turn location services on. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, actually I'm gonna stop the video right here, grab my second camera and do a dual mode shot on this. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I got the second camera rolling, so I'm gonna click start. So first thing it wants me to do is go to the brush, press power. It's found the toothbrush right away. So I'm gonna say yes, go ahead. It's gonna ask me to allow, I don't want the optional feature there. Um, yeah, that's monitoring, I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my name in. And my email. Then it's gonna ask me to create a password, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I did not check off the email marketing, so now it's telling me to verify my account, so I'm gonna go into my email and put the code in. Okay, so I put the account in, so now it says I'm ready to go. So let's brush. So basically, here's all the uh, different statistics. You got a history here, brushing score, challenges. I guess they tried to make it fun by giving you uh, different badges you can acquire. So you have a reminder here that tells you uh, when to change your brush head. So here's my brush. I don't need to connect it. So I'm just gonna go back to the home screen and click brush now. So position requires, you know, access. All right, so that's gonna ask me to access the camera for some reason. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the brush on here. It's actually a really powerful motor, a little louder than I thought. So to do position detection, watch the mirror. Oh, I see. So it's gonna actually uh, tell me to take a picture and do it. So I'm not gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna skip the position detection. Okay, I just did it really quick. I'll have to reconfigure it afterwards. So as you see, the indicator light went on. If I press too hard, it turns red because that means I'm pressing too hard. And actually something I wanna point out the timer started, so they are all interconnected within each other, which is really neat. So it's telling me right now to go into quadrant one. I stopped the brush, so do it again. It says quadrant one, quadrant two eventually, then three, four, so two minutes of total brush time. So it's a pretty neat connected brush. I like that. So now it says we're ending your brushing session. Um, obviously, I didn't do it right because I'm not actually brushing my teeth. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it to it. So. Uh, without actually doing a real demo, which I'm not going to do, especially on camera, of brushing my teeth. It's all a really nice little package. So between the little uh, guide here, the brush and the indicator and the app, this is gonna give you a really deep, good clean of your teeth. So 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Once I actually test out the brush, I'll be able to answer your uh, questions and comments a little better. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Uh, your support is always great. Again, I buy all this stuff out of pocket unless otherwise stated. Um, this does cost me a lot of money, hence why I've kind of slowed down with the videos. It's starting to get expensive. So every now and then I'll pick up something that's a smart thing and I'll say, hey, why not make a video on it? So this is one of those things. So if you liked the video, please like it. Uh, if you didn't, let me know why in the comments. And uh, I'll keep continuing to improve on my videos, make better quality videos for you all. Try to add some dry humor into it. And, and that's it. So thanks all for watching. Mike Bot out.